So you've done your admissions exams, you've written your personal statement and you've submitted your UCAS application. But now you've got the dreaded interviews to think about. For most, including maybe yourself, this is going to be your first major interview and so it can be hard to know where exactly to start. But in this video, we're going to talk through how you can prepare for the interviews and give yourself the best chance of securing your offers. The best way to get better at any skill is to simply practice and this is no different from medical school interviews. A lot of people shy away from doing interview practice because they're worried they're not ready and the truth is you're probably not and so when you're starting off with practice it can feel very overwhelming but the sooner you start the more improvements you'll see and this is genuinely the best way to just get better at talking to someone and really portraying your ideas in a good and clear way. The next thing you should do to prepare is to definitely do some research into the universities you're applying to. Researching into a university means to look for something that makes it stand out or that really kind of shouts at you as a key selling point for that university. Some good things to think about are things like their course structure, is there something unique about it or something that's different from other universities or even something as simple as where it's based or the location. Definitely finding out more about the university will help you answer certain questions and make you sound like you know a lot more about them. It's also important to think about how the course structure suits you because that can also be a good talking point in a lot of interview questions. And this brings me on to my next point which is to think about and prepare for some of the common medical interview questions. Now truth be told any question could come up I've seen some really random and out there questions even while I was practicing for my interviews but that's not to say that there aren't some questions that seem to commonly just keep coming up. Common ones include things like why medicine or why you want to go to that specific university. There's no guarantee that these sort of questions will come up but if they do, you're definitely going to thank yourself if you've kind of already thought about them beforehand. That being said, you shouldn't script your answers for any question, regardless of how common it is. At most, if you're trying to plan for some of the common questions, then keep your plans to mere bullet points and nothing major. Because the worst way to kind of sell yourself as a passionate candidate is to sound scripted and trust me when someone sounds scripted it just takes away completely from their answer. You really need to sell your desire to want to study medicine to the interviewers and the best way to do this is to sound genuine and passionate not robotic and scripted. What you should ideally do is if you are going to plan keep the plan to a bullet point at max and kind of fill in the gaps between the bullet points with general conversation and your own passion and personality and that's really the best way you can come across as the ideal candidate. Now being able to do this is again a skill that you just need to practice by doing lots and lots of practice interviews. Now on the day of your interview there could be any range of people sitting on the other side asking you the questions and so for this reason you should really practice with a diverse range of interviewers during your practice interviews so that you can get a diverse range of feedbacks from different perspectives. I found that you can definitely get some interesting viewpoints by doing this. Somebody could give you a feedback that another person wouldn't have thought of and likewise that second person could give you feedback that the first person didn't think of and so you get a more complete understanding of some of the things you can ideally improve on. And you can practice with family, friends or even teachers but what I've found is that it's good to have a diversity. Have some people that you're also not very comfortable with or very casual with because that way you'll take the interview prep more seriously. For example, when I was practicing for my medical school interviews, I found that when practicing with friends, certain question types like role play questions were really hard to do because one of us would smile and then we'd just totally break character and it was really hard to take those seriously. But I found that when doing those sort of questions, for example, with a teacher, I was more likely to take it seriously and less likely to kind of break character because I was just naturally not as casual with my teachers as I would be with my friends. Now, depending on which university you're applying to, the interview structure will be different. So for this reason, it's definitely important to understand what type of interview you should be expecting and tailoring your practice to kind of suit this structure. This is so crucial and it simply means that, for example, if you're preparing for a panel interview, then make sure you're doing lots of panel style questions where Whereas if you're preparing for an MMI, then make sure you're doing questions that mimic what commonly come up in MMI scenarios. Now truth be told there are a lot of overlap between questions that can come up in MMIs versus the ones that can come up in panel but there are slight differences to things like the structure of the interview and the layout of how it is and mimicking your practice to include this can really make sure that there's fewer surprises on the day of the interview. For example one way that I prepared during my year of application was to do interview prep on Zoom and this was because all my interviews were online. This just meant on the day of my interviews there were few 
fewer surprises and I kind of knew what to expect when doing the interview. Another way you can of course reduce the amount of surprises on the interview day is to, like I mentioned before, look at some of the more commonly asked medical school interview questions and start to think about how you might answer them. To get an idea of what these common questions might be and to even see some model answers from myself, check out this video here where I go through some of these questions.